Is it scratching? Tell me the truth. Do you see a scratch? <laughs> Come on, Jan. <laughs> I don't know. I don't see any scratches there. <laughs> if you looked at it from the top with just your regular eyeballs, you'd be like, brand new. Not a scratch on that thing. But when you put a $20 microscope that you bought on Amazon on there, you see all kinds of things that you don't want to see and you're gonna call the doctor because <laughs> you got something. <laughs> on this Vivian Tries, we are trying the Instagram famous Hacks Clad Pan. I think that's how you say it, Hacks Clad Pan? Something like that. You know this pan, it's everywhere. If you're on Facebook or Instagram, I'm sure you've gotten this ad. And I apologize in advance, after watching this video, you're probably gonna get a million ads for this thing because they spent their entire damn budget for the entire next five years, in my opinion, on freaking ads on Facebook and Instagram for this thing. It's expensive, okay? You're selling me a $100 pan and I'm going, Girl, that better come with a sexy chef. All kinds of things need to come. I'm not cooking. It cooks like a microwave. Ding. <laughs> I paid $120, I believe. Yeah, $120 for this guy. I did notice while doing my research that there is another little pan out there that looks just like this one for a fraction of the damn price. You know I bought it. <laughs> Explain, let's explain. Hacks clad meat black cube pan. This black cube fry pan, eight inches as well. We're comparing apples to apples here, folks. This one was 40 bucks, $39.95. In the pictures from their website and from their website, they look like twins. So they were separated at birth, I think. We're about to find out. I'm not gonna lie, okay? The little design inside that Hacks Clad is bragging about, that Black Cube also has, is very sexy. Beautiful pan. One thing that I have learned from all the different pans that I have tested over the thousands of years that I've been doing this is that when they put a pattern on the actual surface of the pan, it's kind of hard to see scratches and shit. Camouflaged is the way I like to call it. Do you guys remember when I did the granite rock? This pan, right? It has all this crazy pattern on there, so it's really hard to see if there's scratches. Unless your eyeball is right on there. So, <laughs> you know, I'm a motherfucking professional. I had to do it. I had to purchase a microscope. <laughs> We're about to use this to check for micro scratches, folks. Up close and personal, this thing zooms in a thousand percent. If the eyeball can't see it, this is gonna see it. And if there is no scratches at the end, after using metal utensils, a mixer, possibly a knife on it, then this might be product of the year. Oh, they put it in a dust bag. No, they didn't. Did I just buy some Chanel shoes? <laughs> What? I got a beautiful dust bag. Where are we going? Am I gonna carry this to church with me or what? <laughs> Let me see. They feel the same. <laughs> the handles. Are you gonna be shocked? I know a lot of people do this, okay? And by do this, I mean like they private label. I don't know if this is a private label. I don't know if they're associated. I don't know nothing like most videos. <laughs> I'm making a lot of assumptions because I'm just trying to go, oh, wait a second, wait a second. <laughs> okay, ready? <gasps> Exposed. All right, <laughs> I see it, I see it. Let's get this one naked, because this one still has this jacket on. A lot of companies do this, private label or whatever. It's whoever can market the hell out of it and market it better. They're the ones that are gonna win, right? But I'm saying if they're kind of the same for <laughs> a fraction of the price, then girl, save yourself a lot of money for this $40 one. Okay, they're slightly different, but they're a lot the same. Make sense? <laughs> All right, what do you guys think? The inside pattern is slightly different, but 
a lot the same. I'm gonna say that because I'm telling you, they're not cousins. I'm saying they're probably twins. Look at the handles, you guys. It's a tiny bit different. I did notice on the inside, the hex clad has these screws on the inside. This one doesn't. I prefer no screws or hardware on the inside. It's just easier to clean. So I like this one better. The Hax Clad has the same pattern underneath. The Black Cube just has a regular bottom. In their commercial, they brag about the same nonstick surface. If this is gonna save me $50, take that shit from the bottom. I don't cook from this side. I mean, I'm sure you could do those crate. Have you seen that hack where people use the bottom of a pan? Maybe for that, amazing, but that would be it. And Danny in the commercial says that you, <laughs> in case you ever get a bread bag, and Danny, that happens like once every 10 years. Listen, I'm not gonna lie, the pan is sexy. Both of them are sexy though, that's what I'm saying. Your 120 is not any sexier than this one for 40 bucks. They also ran it up higher on the sides. This one is not all the way up, which if, if I don't need that shit all the way up and can save myself like $25, let's do that. Because I don't need this to be non-stick over here. The bottom is what I need non-stick. Let's compare a couple more things that I went interesting. Oven safe up to 500 degrees. The black cube says, Oven safe up to 500 degrees. Metal utensil safe, 100% scratch resistant. Safe for use with metal utensils. Dishwasher safe, dishwasher safe. Scratch resistant, scratch resistant. Tri ply construction, three ply. <laughs> the one thing that got me real good that I was like, besides the pattern being twins almost was this little graphic that they're using because i also noticed that black cube has the exact graphic showing you their tri ply <laughs> three ply construction levels stainless steel aluminum stainless steel with the peaks and valleys they both also brag about this is the first hybrid pan. Best of both worlds, stainless steel and nonstick. So our first instructions are to wash it with a little bit of warm water and soap and then dry. Second thing it's telling us to do is to season it before first use. Then you are ready to cook. Over the next few weeks, your hex clad hybrid cook wheel will perform better and better as it reseasons itself. Interesting. For $120, I don't wanna have to worry that I have to cook everything on medium heat. Your pan has peaks and valleys. Your pan is stainless steel, aluminum coated, tri-ply construct, like all those things. Why do I have to be delicate with it? It says that you can cook on high, but it is recommended that you cook on low or medium heat to prevent food from burning. They've been washed and they are dry. We're gonna start with this. Then we'll check it for our first set of micro scratches. If they're there, they might not be there. We'll start with the black cube. Okay, now this guy. With my normal eyeballs, it looks good. I can't tell if any of that was scratched or damaged. I'm gonna try to hold it as best as I can up to this thing. Is that a damaged little peak there? Was that from the blender? Do you see it kind of in the center? Do we see scratches there? What about there? Do you see that? Is it my imagination? What are those? What about there? I moved it a little forward now. And I'll move my nail 
so you guys can see that it's not like a piece of hair or anything. Okay, so I went and grabbed a pin, you guys, because there is a couple of areas on here that I'm looking at and I want to have a pointer. I don't know how else to point at things so you guys can see them a little bit better. Do you see the tip of my pin there? Right there, there is a little piece that, I don't know if it's a damaged, let's, let's try to rub it with this. Do you see, what is that? Is that a damaged like little peak or something? This microscope got me messed up. If you're a hypochondriac, don't buy one of these. I try to use it on my hands and I was like, oh my God, call the doctor. I just saw things I shouldn't see. <laughs> don't buy one, but if you're like into gross stuff, you see all kinds of shit with it. I mean, look at the pen. You can see every little detail of this pen. See that? Pretty good, huh? Let me grab a knife. So you see that weird looking thing there that doesn't look like a peak or a valley? I want to scratch that off because I don't know what it is. Do you think it's a damaged peak? That's kind of what it looks like to me. <gasps> Am I scratching the surface with my knife right now as we speak live on camera? Let me see what this is. What is that? Why does it look like plastic, doesn't it? Oh, it ain't plastic. Is it the non-stick surface that I'm scratching off? <laughs> what? What is that? That might be a better shot. So let's try to scratch it. Do you see it? Is that the nonstick surface that they're bragging about? Are those scratches? What is it? <laughs> Seriously, are those scratches? Now let's look at this guy. Do those look like scratches to you? Does that look like a scratch to you? A hundred percent, that looks like a freaking scratch. Right there, I can't point at it. There it is, you see it? Do those look scratches to you? I see scratches all over the place. Okay, if that right there is not a scratch, I don't know what is. Like I see two big ones, one on top, one on bottom. One right there and one down here. Do you see it? So here's what I'm gonna say about the mixer test on the actual surfaces. I'm gonna say they both kind of failed. I mean, the scratches are not bad, but there are definitely scratches on the pan. Another claim from the commercial was that you can actually cut your food in the actual pan. The example he used was the quesadilla where he cooked it and then he actually cut it with a pizza cutter in here and the pan was not damaged. So what I thought I would do, I'm not gonna do a quesadilla, but I have some onions here. How about we chop these up with one of these chopping things? This guy, right in here. That way I don't have to cut up my onions on a cutting board right? How convenient if I can just chop them up in here and then start cooking. Ready? One, two, three, go. That's all I hear in my head. Now the black cube. Not bad. They may have actually passed my onion test. My eyeballs might be fooling me, so let's go ahead and get that close up now. Here's another weird looking peak. And I'm saying it's a peak because I can't figure out if that is actually a peak or if that is actually like the nonstick surface that was scratched. I think it's a peak, but it looks like it's been damaged. Okay, similar thing here. Okay, so here's another little area that looks 
damaged. If you just wiped it down, you'd think that there was nothing on it. But if you really look, like we're looking here, <laughs> there's something on the surface. Now, let's take a peek at the black cube. What I am seeing on the black cube are tiny scratches, but I don't see like damaged peaks or an area that looks like I could scratch it off. Does that make sense? Now let's season both of the pans I have here on low heat. One, one. And the only thing they say to do is take like a paper towel or a rag and then just wipe the oil around for a few minutes. So both of these guys have been sitting here. I have been wiping the oil around and around for about two to three minutes now. We're done. I just wiped off the oil now. That kind of gives it an advantage because there's obviously still oil in the pan but we're gonna go ahead and try it with the eggs. And of course I'm gonna use my mixer. Another funny thing that he does in the infomercial that a lot of these cheesy as seen on television commercials do is the scrambled eggs and then you blow them. You know how long I've been doing that? Years. A pan that costs $19.99 will do the exact same thing. <laughs> Now remember, with the oil, I just wiped it off. So there should still be the nonstick kind of oil coating on there, right? So these should just blow right out of here when they're done. They look like they've already stuck. Look at that. I know you're probably thinking, in the commercial he sprayed it with a little bit of oil because he said it makes them rubbery if you don't. Listen, five seconds before I put the egg in here, there was oil. I literally just wiped it out with a napkin. There should have still been a coating of oil on here. We're gonna pretend like that was my little spritz of nonstick spray. There is the beautiful hex clad. There is our black cube. <laughs> These should just come right off, right? Now maybe I should try this metal utensil. I didn't have a spatula. This is all I had. <laughs> Squeeze me. <laughs> Here's the one that cost me $120. Ready? Okay, black cube. He did this in the infomercial. He did that. <laughs> and the eggs aren't burnt, so don't tell me, Vivian, you burnt those eggs. I didn't. Did it pass the basic ass nonstick egg test? Neither of them. They might be sisters, though, is expected. Both of them are squeaky clean as far as cleaning. They're both kind of the same as any other pan. I wasn't able to just wipe off the eggs. I actually had to scrub with a little brush to get everything off of here because they were stuck, but it wasn't crazy. Let's look at it up close and personal. All right, so here is one of those damaged peaks or damaged non-stick surface. I can't tell what the hell that is, but there's something going on there. Am I noticing two right next to each other right there? I'm going to try scraping it off so you don't think it's eggs. They're not eggs. I clean these good. Scratches? What do you guys think? Okay, I found them again. 
it's kind of hard to use this microscope, okay? So I'm gonna scratch it with the tip of the knife. Now, the reason I think it's nonstick surface is because it almost looks like plastic i don't know the texture of it doesn't seem like stainless steel like one of the peaks it actually looks really soft like you can almost scrape it off that's why i think it's part of the nonstick surface but i could be wrong do you see that look how easy i'm not even putting any pressure don't judge my knife okay this is my budget studio knife I know the tip is chipped, <laughs> but this is not about me. This is about the damn pan. I'm not even putting any type of pressure. I'm literally just swiping it over that little piece that you guys see sticking up there. And it looks like it's scratching. <laughs> I'm embarrassing my knife. <laughs> Don't judge me. I'll show you with my iPhone. You can't see this if you don't have a microscope. I know these pans are made with like PP, PP, PP free and DD, DD, D free. <laughs> All the letters, free of everything. <laughs> it's air. <laughs> now let's check this other one that's back here. Same thing. Look at the scratches. Is it scratching? Tell me the truth. Do you see a scratch? <laughs> Come on, Jan. <laughs> Who the hell's Jan? I don't know. I don't see any scratches there. <laughs> if you looked at it from the top with just your regular eyeballs, you'd be like, brand new. Not a scratch on that thing. But when you put a $20 microscope that you bought on Amazon on there, you see all kinds of things that you don't want to see and you're gonna call the doctor because <laughs> you got something. <laughs> I'm just saying, what y'all think? Scratches or no scratches? I mean, they're not bad, right? I mean, they're not, but they're there. Oh, shit, I moved. Oh, here's another one. Look, that's another one in a totally different spot. Do you see it? Right there, right there. <laughs> I can't point. Let me get my knife. I better not move my damn microscope and then I lose it. It's like the microscope is opposite of what I'm looking at on the screen. So it's really hard to like talk, focus and scrape it off. Let's see if I can kind of. What is that? Is that plastic? I don't know. Who can explain? Scientist? Pan makers, what is this? What if I got some pliers instead of this damn knife, huh? Let's see if I can, I don't know if, I probably can't, but I'm gonna try. Okay, ready? Do you see it? See how it's moving like plastic here? Let me do I'm not gonna be able to, it's tiny, you guys, it's tiny. One more time, I found a pretty good one. Do you see it? If you don't see it, I don't know what to tell you, but it's right there, it's huge. Oh, that one's crystal clear right there, you see it? What is that? Oh, it's about to come off. Did I get it? Dude, I'm getting pretty good. I almost got it. <gasps> Look at it. It's about to come off, you guys. I can't get it. <laughs> I'm not that coordinated. <laughs> Surgeon, step in, grab this. I can't get it. Uh, I'm gonna have to give up. I'll be here for another six hours trying to pull. I'm not gonna sleep tonight <laughs> until I get that to come off. Now for fun, let's try the marshmallow test. What I do is I put marshmallows in here, we melt them, and then we'll flip them over. The nonstick, they should come right out. Come 
before I take them off the stove. Let's check the handle because it's very interesting. If I'm holding them here, they're cool. Here, hot. About here, it's gonna hurt. Let's see, can you guys see that? <laughs> I don't wanna miss my plate. Here we go. Did I just ruin my damn pan by burning that? Oh my God. Okay, let's see. What do you think? No worries, look, I have a metal fork. We can scrape it off. <laughs> I want them to be beautiful again. Don't give me no burnt pans. You tell me what you think. I keep asking you guys throughout this whole video because I don't know. Washed once again, but as you can see, they're not perfect. I don't know if this is just permanent damage that just happens as you use the pan, but that's a little disappointing. The black cube had more though than the hacks clad. Okay, so there is the black cube. Okay, you can see it there. You think that'll come off? Now let's look at the hex clad. So they both have kind of the same discoloration, but for whatever reason, I see it more on the black cube than I do on the hex clad, at least with the microscope. Is it beautiful? Yes. Is it well made? Yes. Would I recommend you use metal utensils or a mixer on them, in them? I'm going to say no. Now, if you have this pan and you absolutely love it, please share it with us down below as well. I want to hear from you guys. So for all of those reasons, I'm going to give both pans three Vivian heads. All right, you guys, so that is it for another Vivian Tries. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up for me in the comments down below. Let me know if you've seen a cool Instagram product that you think I should try and it might get featured in an upcoming episode. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm putting out one to two videos every week for your entertainment. Don't forget to share the video with your family and your friends, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.